Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial! In today's video, we are gonna unstack an uneven list into a normal table like this. Now, the data set we're looking at here is just a one column list with basically songs by artists, specific genre, release year. Now, the thing that's tricky about this is there's not always a genre, so I can't just do like, uh, assume it's always like four rows or four columns and then get it into this format. I need to be very cognizant of the fact that genre might be missing. So what we're gonna do is with this list, we're gonna transpose it into this table over here. You can see there's the date, the artist, song, and genre. And if the genre is blank, it just has a blank. Enough talking, let me show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing is you select your data set, just click on your data set, go to data, and say from table or range. Now this opens Power Query, baby. All right, so now we got it in Power Query. Next thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna quickly go to add and add a index column starting from zero. Okay, so now the thing that we need to do is we need to identify some sort of a pattern here. And basically the pattern I see here is every single record actually starts with a year and year is quite consistent. And year is actually a number. Well, so we can use that to our advantage by adding a custom column. It's an add column. And we go like, okay, let's call this the key. And I'm gonna do a simple if statement. I'm gonna say if value is, now this function checks for, let's say column one, whether it is of a specific data type. So I'm gonna say like, uh, if anything in column one is a number, I'm gonna say type, is number what I want is then I just want to basically show the index else I'll show a no excellent so now you can see we actually now corresponding to the number we actually now have a marker for when each record starts when each song record starts and that's a good starting point. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna quickly show you a shortcut. You're gonna go to transform and you're gonna say fill. And in this case, we wanna fill down because the records are down. So I'm gonna say fill down. So now we actually have a unique key for each record. You can see where this is going. It's actually quite a simple solution. Okay, so we can delete the index over there. Let's just remove that. Now we got the key and we got the column. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is quite simple. I'm just gonna go to transform. I'm gonna say group by. And I'm gonna group it by the key because that's the unique identifier for each row or for each song. So basically I'm gonna say, uh, I wanna see the all rows and let's call this little baby over there the detail. And this is gonna give us something like this. So now you see a unique key for each record, for each song basically. And you can see this song basically contains all of the records for that song. So you can see this Taylor Swift right there. Uh, and then if you look at this one, this Ed Sheeran one doesn't have a genre. Hmm, you see, so it actually worked. There's the Beatles, it's got a genre. So that's all we have here. So what I'm gonna do now is in this syntax over here, you can see the group by syntax. I actually don't need any of this crap over here. I wanna isolate this column there. So I'm just gonna put it in square brackets. It's gonna say column one from that table, right? Let's take that other one away there and say, okay. So now what it did is, it now just has the list. I basically just got rid of all of those other unnecessary columns and say, well, I just want this list actually. All right, that's a good starting point. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take this list, right? And I wanna take this list and I wanna transform it into columns. I wanna create a table from rows. I'm just gonna start a new step over here. So I'm gonna use a list function called list transform because now we're gonna work with a list. But you see this group rows is actually a table, but I wanna look at this detail over there. So I'm just gonna say the detail is actually a list because we're looking at this column there. It's actually just a list, all right? So I can use a list function there. I'm gonna say common, and I'm gonna say for each item in this list, yeah, I'm gonna say table from rows. So I'm gonna create a table from these rows and in curly brackets it is because it's a list it's in curly brackets and then you close that out and you say okay now we actually have a table converted that list into a table all right that's beautiful we're almost there it's almost there so now this is actually 
a table. What I can do now is just to this function, I'm just going to say table combine. Yeah, and just give it that. Look at that. Here we go. We basically did our thing. And here you can see actually considered any record where the genre is an all. There we go. And it's very cognizant of that. All right. So now the last thing that we want to do is we want to dynamically just call this one release year or year artist song and uh, genre. Okay, so I'm just going to return this to Excel and say close and load. It's going to load it back. There we go. But you see this little table I prepared over here, column one to four. This is dynamic the names I want to use. I'm just going to click on this thing there and do the same thing. Data from table or range. And I'm just going to rename this. Let's call it, let's call it like uh, table calls. Okay. All right, so that's basically what we have here. So if you look at this, I'm going to go back to this data set. I'm just going to rename this random D to something like this. Right. So just check the function that it's using. It's basically putting it in curly brackets saying, what is the from name? And what's the to name? So we typically want to do that from this table over here. We want to convert this in a from and a to. So basically a list because in the curly brackets, that's a list. So how do we do that? So I'm just going to add to here. I'm just going to say table two rows. And I'm just going to do that. So now that's going to create those value pairs that you see over there. Doop, doop, doop. Lovely. So now all I do here is with this rename columns, I'm just going to get rid of this whole thing over there. Delete all of that. That simply just needs a list. So all I'm going to say is refer to that query called table calls. And there we go. I rename that. I'm just going to save, close and load. And there you have it. Problem solved. Well, I hope that open your eyes with some of the cool stuff that you can do in Power Query by just knowing some very basic functions and understanding how lists work, how two rows, how converting a list to a table and converting a table to a list actually works to create awesome solutions like this one. Well, VA Sensei, signing out.